One holiday favorite is lasagna. Kaya we are making lasagna today. Simple, simple. So I'm here ready to assemble my lasagna, but before I got to this point, I had to make two of my sauces, my meat sauce and, of course, my bechamel sauce. So here's how I made this. So we're doing a very classic, very simple, straightforward bechamel. And I'm starting out with butter, just a little bit over um, one-fourth cup. So if you use that amount of butter you also need that amount of flour so that's very easy to remember and firstly we will melt our butter and we will add our flour so what we're making here is called a roux oh yeah roux so, so that will be our thickening agent and it's a good time if you want to add aromatics you can actually add your aromatics here so for example i want to add garlic i can add garlic you know Cook the garlic here, saute, saute. You have to cook it for at least a minute or more. So this is a bland roux. If you want it darker, just cook it a little bit more to get a bland color. But that's very important. Your flour is cooked. You have a pasty consistency. And now you will add your milk, room temperature milk or better warm milk. Little by little. So, dahan-dahan lang yung ating pag-add ng ating milk. Yan, to dissolve. Kasi pag nilagay natin yung milk kaagad ng buo, magbuo-buo siya, no? And you will have difficulty, ahabulin mo siya na ma-dissolve, no? Yan, look at that, no? The flour absorbs so much of the milk. Dumadami siya, it's thickening. Yan. Yan, so just remove that. And now, I will just use my... Whisk. So we will use this bechamel sauce for our lasagna. We're making a lasagna, diba? And I will just add, yan, laurel leaf. I can add an onion. Ito, I'll just add an onion. So I can just remove it just to add flavor. Pinch of nutmeg. Very nice, very rich. We will let that simmer to thicken a little bit. You can season with salt, yan, white pepper. And so very nice, very classic white sauce. Yan, no? We will melt the cheese in our white sauce. I'm using here, this one's mild cheddar. Yan, very nice. Automatic naging cheese sauce siya. So if you want to add like pimiento, whatever, do it for your nachos, for your burritos or whatever adding a little bit of parmesan cheese not too much around three four tablespoons and there we have it our very nice cheese sauce and here it is another kitchen secret for you so we're doing a very classic ragu or meat sauce of course with tomatoes and ground meat and a lot of vegetables and we will start off with you know my pressure cooker is already hot adding about one fourth cup of olive oil and butter again very nice butter we're combining the two mm. what i will do now is kahit nag pressure cooker ka to develop all the flavor we have to saute our vegetables so what will we do start with the carrots again, celery so everything, when it cooks, it's going to like mash up and thicken the sauce. No? So we don't really want to see like the bits and pieces of vegetables later on. So I like to really saute it until it's tender. I will also add my herbs here. I'm going to use some oregano, thyme. You can use whatever herbs or spices you want to add. Yan palang, it's very aromatic. So, ito lang medyo matagal sa atin yung sauteing, no? Kasi if we don't saute it properly, we won't be able to get as much flavor as possible, no? So, sometimes, hindi siya question kung ano kadami yung ingredients. Which, ito maraming ingredients. But also, the manner of your cooking will help you develop the flavor of your dish. Kaya, technique is very important. So, ito, look at that. Very nice. Add my beef, my ground beef with some fat. Yan. So usually, 
kung ako nagpapagrind ako ng aking beef, I let say like a little bit of sirloin and a little bit of brisket. Yan. May konting taba talaga siya, no? So, my beef is partially cooked. And now, I will add my tomato paste for that richness, no? And I will add a little bit of sugar, no? So, the sugar is not to make it sweet. It's just to balance the, the flavor. But also, I want it to sear, no? So, it will caramelize a little bit no? as I cook my beef. Now, I will add my laurel leaves. I will add also my little bit of chili flakes. It's optional, but alam mo, if there's a little bit of spice, masarap siya. It brings out the flavor much more. And, eto siya, guys. This is another secret, no? That when I cook my meat sauce, I will add two things that you won't expect. Number one is patis. Choose a good quality patis. And, but may patis, di ba? Italian. Alam mo, yung Italians use some sort of a patis called garum, no? Before when they cook. It's fermented. It's the same thing, no? It's fermented fish. Yan. And another thing, Pinoy na Pinoy, but yes, they also cook with a lot of vinegar. Ang Italians. So, I'm adding vinegar. So, I'm adding vinegar, just white vinegar, kasi sometimes we forget that yung acid niya, no? yung konting kick ng asim, also makes food more delicious. No? And now, it's time for me to add my tomatoes. So, I'm using canned tomatoes. Yan. You can use whole or parang, ito, this is diced tomatoes, stewed tomatoes. If it's whole, you crush it, do. And mix it all together. And I will add beef stock. Ang sarap dito. Grabe. So, instead of, you don't want to use vinegar, you can use red wine as well. But ako, I like to use white wine better than red wine for this. But, alam mo na, vinegar does the job good enough. Mas tipid pa. And that's it, no? I will just cover this up and let it cook for 45 minutes to an hour. And I will come back to it later. Under pressure! So, we're releasing some steam. Not some but all of the steam so that we can open our pressure cooker safely. And now, I'm ready to take a peek into my... <laughs> it looks so good. Yeah, it's so delicious. Pero, we're not yet done. So, ito, I will just add cooking cream or milk. Yeah, and Parmesan cheese. Yeah, just add that there. Look at that. Let it simmer. Very nice color. Look at that. It's going to be so delicious. Let it simmer for around 10 to 15 minutes over low to medium heat. Now, medyo it's very naging light yung color niya. But as you cook it, it's going to become dark again. It's going to be red again. And while I'm waiting for my sauce to thicken up a little bit more, Oh, so this meat sauce, ito siya, is for our lasagna today. But you can use this for your spaghetti. You can use it for whatever pasta you want. But today, we're making lasagna and I have my lasagna noodles. So it's cooked around 6-7 minutes kasi you never overcook or cook your lasagna noodles fully because it's still going to bake in the oven. Kaya yung sauce natin is... A little bit, di ba? Saucy pa siya, hindi siya dry. Hindi siya parang giniling ng siya na may tomato. But it's a bit saucy because we want our noodles to absorb the moisture. Kaya this one will cook the noodles. Add. Yan, we'll make our bed of meat sauce noodles. Yan, very nice. Oh, layer one. And we will now add our bechamel sauce, our, our cream sauce. And you will notice it's a bit thick, no? Because we added cheese to this. And in the recipe, remember, I added like garlic and all that. I removed those whole garlic pieces and the uh, onions. Very nice. But spread, 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 no? And I have here a combination of mozzarella cheese and cheddar, no? So I'm using mild cheddar. Spread, spread, spread. You can combine both. Yan. 
And again, we will repeat meat sauce. And we're ready to bake. I will just sprinkle a little bit of fresh parsley para yan, may konting kulay. Drizzle a bit of olive oil on top. Just help everything come together. And we're ready to pop it in the oven. So I'm so excited. And our lasagna is done. Dun -dun -dun. And I really like it when my lasagna is gratinated on top. Ibig sabihin, may sunog-sunog na cheese kasi doon lumalabas yung sarap at linamnam ng ating lasagna. It's so beautiful, guys. Try this recipe at home. It's part of the Kitchen Secrets Cookbook. Very classic lasagna. Simple!